like to show you how to work with reports. For example, let's take a look at the actuals for our profit centers. I'd like to see the figures for this year. This report shows the key figures for profit centers and GL accounts. By default, the dimensions Profit Center and GL Account are specified under Rows and are displayed at the left of the report. The key figures are specified under Columns. The dimensions for the key figures include actual amounts in different currencies and the quantities. Now I'd like to see the figures according to Company Code as well, so I select the Dimension Company Code from the unallocated dimensions and click the Row button to add it as a row. Then I position it so that I see the Company Code first. The company codes are now displayed as the first dimension in the table. Hmm, I'd like to see the figures for one company code only. I select the company code, and the report now displays the financial information for this company code only. Since there's only one company code in the report now, I could specify it as a column rather than a row. This saves space in the report. Now the company code is in the header of the report. To speed things up, I can also make my selections first and then run the report afterwards. To do this, I click the Spanner button and the Refresh button appears next to it. Then I add another dimension as a row, for example Posting Date, and click Refresh. Of course you can sort. And there are lots of other features as well. Just right-click on the screen and try them out.